Well, hello there. How are we doing today? This rain we've been getting needs to let up, am I right? Now, normally I'm all for a little bit of precipitation, but two weeks straight is a little excessive, don't you think? Oh, first time with us? Excellent. Officially, welcome to our little family. And to what do we owe the pleasure? Referred by whom? Right, right, yes, of course. We get a lot of referrals from them. How much did Solari tell you about uh, the process? Not a lot, figures. They're so rushed at the clinic with all the patient traffic that they barely have time to do what they do. I'll give you a rundown. You are here because Solari determined you've been experiencing a lot of discontentment in your life, beyond the normal levels we all get from time to time. If we let, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, you hear me? If we let this fester and build up inside you, it can lead to all sorts of bad things. Yes, like depression, anxiety, etc. But even more than that, the patients we get here are those whose levels of mental instability are classified as actively disruptive. Now, I know that label can be daunting, and many of our customers react strongly to, yes, often like that. Let me just pick up the tool tray here. Evidently those restraints weren't tightened down enough. A little adjustment on my remote here and, ah, perfect. Sorry to do that. But sometimes our patients become agitated at the official diagnosis. Yes, the gag is unfortunate, but once you've calmed down, we can remove it. As I was saying, being actively disruptive is not a big deal. It sounds much scarier than it really is. Yes, it's the same category the mental authority gives to anarchists, mass murderers, protesters, rebels, and psychopaths. But it's perfectly normal for healthy-minded individuals to experience transient phases of actively disruptive mindsets. Looking at your history on your chart here, doody doo, yes, everything was looking just great for you until about a month ago. I'm only guessing here, but it was probably the big reorganization at K-Speak that did it, right? I know. It's hard to trust the system when it suddenly reorganizes your entire life from bottom to top. Hmm. Change of job, change of dormitory, change of schedule, change of assigned domestic partner. It's times like that when our doubts begin to build and we lose faith in the benevolence of our directors. But don't you worry. We here at Don't Mind Mental Care are just what the doctor ordered, literally. See, your mind is naturally limited to being concerned with your own situation and point of view first and foremost. When the directors determine that a massive social reorganization needs to happen, they do so from, from a top-down perspective. Ah, excuse me. Maybe I need to go under and get a little uh, vocal therapy going, huh? Hmm? It, is a, it is another service that we offer, but oh well. Anyway, they do so from a top-down perspective that, by nature, sees the greatest good for the whole. But you, just one little data point in the greater data set of the whole population, you don't have the benefit of that perspective. If you did, then of course you wouldn't understand how necessary it is to dissolve a massive corporation out of the blue, redistribute its assets to the officially designated beneficiary, and reallocate all personnel to either the beneficiary or back into available labor. But you are mostly focused on your immediate needs, a stable home, a guaranteed roof over your head, where your next meal will come from, etc. And that's where we come in. We use the very latest and greatest of mind maintenance technology to remove a harmful buildup of disestablishmentarianism and anti-authority mentality from your psyche. It's very much like getting your teeth cleaned. Everyone gets checkups on their teeth. Well, everyone in a position to afford it. And of everyone who does, most do just fine. But some of them have diets that are a little harder on the old enamel than others and inevitably cavities form. Think of this as a routine cavity filling, but instead of drilling into your tooth and filling the void with a resin, we're drilling into your thoughts, carefully, and extracting the harmful ones. We even fill the void with a general sense of well-being and positivity, 
It's the least we can do for you while we're in there, right? Little mental Nova King. Starting up the old mind flayer here. <laughs> Just our little joke, not to worry. This is a thought reorganizer, no flaying involved. I say your brain patterns lit up like an Xmas tree when I said that. Commencing cleaning in three, two, one. Now. Uh, uh, whoops, wait a minute. Oh, no. No, that's not right. No, 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 not right at all. And, oh, I, for, oh, I forgot to make the backup again. Well, great. Louie, I did it again. I know, I know, I, yes, yep, yes, no, no, I didn't. I don't know. I know. Yes. No. Yes. Ugh, why? Fine. Okay, bringing this one back to consciousness. Hello there, how are you feeling? A little out of sorts? Foggy? Yes, that would be expected. Can you tell me your name? Yes, your name. No? That's alright, that's alright. I expected that. Uh, do you remember how you got here? No? Okay. Do you remember anything? 